Good morning. Today's verse of the day is Proverbs 26, 24 to 26. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery, the wrongdoing will be exposed in public. Watch out for people who say, and they come to you saying, I want to remind you of where you come from. There are some people in this world that when you were in celebration, when you were in joy for the blessings that the Lord has given you, that they're always quick to remind you of where you came from. They want to bring you down and they pretend as though they're friends, but the true thing that is behind them is envy. There are people in this world that if you get a degree, they want to remind you of the times you were struggling on a test, didn't have the right answers. Maybe it looked it was a dumb paper. There are people in this world that will cheer you on when you have pipe dreams. But when you start fulfilling those pipe dreams, they'll remember and remind you of how low you was at one point. There are people in this world that when, if you're having a first child and it's your first child, they'll remind you and you're at, you're at a birthday party. I'm just giving an example. You're at your first child's birthday party. They're the type to come and remind you that there was a time you didn't want a first child at that birthday party in your times of celebration they're there <laughs> just to ah. and there are people dealing with spiritually for example me doing verses a day there are people that want to remind I want to make sure you don't have pride in you let me, I want to bring you down a level. If you're doing great things for the Lord, I want to bring you down a level. 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Or do you not realize this about you, that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to meet the test. If there's nothing outwardly that is spoken or is said, no haughty eyes that are, that are shown, let that person be, if you are in fact that person that tests, that wants to remind them of where they come from. There are people that want to suck your joy. There are people that, will, that if you start to rise up and preach the word, they'll ask you, well, where's your qualification? Where, where is your, your pastoral degree? Remember, in the latter times, many that say they're pastors will be deceivers. But not only that, not only that, we don't need a degree to preach the word. We're to go and make disciples. And if we don't go and make disciples, Matthew 3, 9 says, And think not to say within yourself, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. The Lord is able to raise up children from stones. He's able to raise up people that are willing to preach from the very rocks on the ground. So why don't I preach for him? Because I love him, <laughs> right? There are people that want to keep you down in any moment possible. If, you, if, if you're not a boaster, but you have many celebrations for the great things that the Lord has done. Bought a house, Get a degree, get another degree, have a child, start preaching God's word. Many blessings. They'll always want to remind you where you come from. They'll, in fact, take pictures of where you've been. If you've been in the gutter at one time, <laughs> they'll take pictures of that. If you had a sad countenance, they'll take pictures of that. And they'll even offer it to you. To remind you of where you come from. Because that is where in their mind they see you. But as it says. 
as it says, Their hearts are full of many evil. While their hatred may be concealed with trickery, their wrongdoing will be exposed in public. Be patient. But the overall goal is to not expose them. The overall goal is that they repent and that you love them. Remember that. Ephesians 4.31, get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. This is how we deal with them. This is what they need to do as well. Because envy is a cancer. It rots their bones, the word says. But we, that we deal with them, we need to go back to living our joyous lives and talk to them in the truth. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to one, each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. We also deal with them as 1 Peter 3, 9. Do not repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and he will grant you his blessing. Don't repay evil for evil. You may not even be jealous of them, ever. I'm happy when I see my friends doing great things, greater things than me. It is a good thing. Keep up the good work. Let's get people to heaven. Romans 12, 9. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Pray that God will bless them. Dear Heavenly Father, Love on them, Lord. Love them. I pray that you continue to bless all. All that have a repentant heart, Lord. And just keep them. Bless our enemies, Father. And when I say bless them, bless them with your word. Bless them, bless them with your strength. Bless them any way that you see fit. That is good for him, Father. And Lord, may many be saved. In Yeshua's name, amen.